The Mayor's Action Center, Photo, Kaylee Gatto. Teresia Perry has dealt with large potholes in the street near her Fountain Square area home for years. Typically, she reports them to the Mayor's Action Center. The chuck holes get so humongous that you could lose a small vehicle or car in there, she said. I put in reports at least twice a year. And then she waits. And waits. One report that Perry submitted online on November 3, 2016, was not closed until 117 days later. But data collected by Indistar from Mac Records shows that two other pothole reports made that same day were resolved much quicker. One was closed the next day. The other was closed in three days. What gives? There was one significant difference between Perry's report that day and the two others, the median income level of the neighborhood. Indistar found the amount of time it takes for the city's public works department to respond to a pothole may actually depend on the economic status of the area in which the pothole is being reported. Frequent callers, they complain and complain and complain. And you benefit a review of MAC data shows that areas of the city where the median income is less than $35,000 a year wait, on average, about 19 days for a resolution involving potholes reported in streets, on berms and in alleys. Those who live in neighborhoods where the median income is between $35,000 and $60,000 a year, however, usually wait 9.5 days. And when the neighborhood's median income is higher than $60,000, the wait is just 5.5 days on average. In Adiapolis, the response time to pothole complaints is faster in neighborhoods with higher incomes. Photo, Dallas Thacker. I think it's unfair, Perry said. Because everybody should be treated equally the same no matter your income or the area that you live in. City officials dot dispute the Indistar's findings, but they also provided a possible explanation, the Public Works Department must prioritize is busier thoroughfares over neighborhood streets or alleys. Response to pothole complaints is not driven in any way, they insist, by neighborhood income levels or boundaries. Instead, repairs are prioritized on safety impact, things like traffic volume, number of people who are using the street, the number of people who are crossing it, the number of emergency vehicles that need to get through there, explained DPW Public Information Officer Warren Stokes. So stuff like your major thoroughfares, like 38th Street, 56th Street, those tend to get prioritized more for pothole filling and our resurfacing projects. Denise Beard a Mayor's Action Center customer service representative, takes a report from a caller. Photo, Kaylee Gatto, Betsy Whitmore, the DPW's chief communications officer, suggested complaints about potholes in alleys, more prevalent in the city's central core, which also has the largest concentration of older roads and low-income neighborhoods, may be behind the disparity. There are more alleys in the older part of the city, so when you see lots and lots of reports in the downtown Mile Square or the old city limits, you will see a lot of pothole reports that stay open longer because it's more alleys and we have to prioritize those last, Whitmore said. She is right, to a point.